The Feminine Sublime, an exhibition at the Pasadena Museum of California Art, formulates an alternative and more inclusive contemporary reading of the sublime. Historically, the sublime is represented by man posed against vast and overpowering landscapes or wilderness, reinforcing man's rationality and established order over nature and disorder. Because women were deemed incapable of full moral and intellectual personhood, they were disqualified from appreciating the sublime. They could only be associated with the beautiful, so there were no female painters contributing to this type of imagery. Like its namesake, the exhibition The Feminine Sublime eliminates the detached male spectator. Viewers are situated directly within the depicted natural catastrophe, with particular references to current ecological concerns. These large-scale paintings by five female Los Angeles artists present a counter-narrative that upends previous ideas of the sublime in landscape painting with a unique feminist perspective. Unfulfilled by traditional or abstract landscapes, the exhibition artists foreground female bodily experiences and give voice to the other. Their paintings create immersive experiences within which viewers can contemplate the excesses and potentially annihilating effects of global climate change, industrial capitalism, nuclear catastrophe, hyper-consumerism, technology overload, and fossil fuel dependence. Transcendence and detachment so critical to the historical male experience of nature is not an option. Embracing a multi-dimensional present coexistent with environmental disturbances, devastation, and precarity is vital to redefining an ongoing relationship with a rapidly changing Earth. Yvette Gellis combines the flatness of abstraction with perspectival figuration. She transgresses the traditional boundaries of painting itself in order to unsettle the viewer's sense of space and challenge traditional ways of experiencing landscape. Thick paint applied in muscular gestures, collaged shards and fragments of previous paintings, and various materials intrude into these illusions of vivid landscapes, mimicking pollution and recalling the historical sublime with its cataclysmic imagery. Gellis creates metaphors for the imbalance and imminent destruction in our current environment from which there seems no escape. Virginia Katz's recent work looks to the surface of the earth to better understand the human place within its continuum. Through examination of satellite photography, she creates imagined textural topographies in both two and three dimensions, employing a layered printmaking process and thick carved acrylic paint on panels. The organic quality of her work analogizes the human body and its external environment, demonstrating their inextricable connections. Devastation and regeneration such as we constantly witness in nature are intertwined and offer metaphors for personal upheaval and transformation. For over 40 years, Marian Estes has incorporated an array of unconventional materials into her scenic iconography. Commingling expressive paint handling, ornamental and decorative cloth, and collaged photographic imagery, she creates spellbinding dystopian landscapes and nightmarish scenes of global capitalism run amok. As the customary means of depicting nature now seem inadequate for describing the raging forest fires, melting ice caps, and nuclear disasters instigated by environmental irresponsibility, Estes elicits shock and awe by infringing on accepted notions of taste and beauty, emphasizing the peril with an unleashed feminine presence. The discarded contents found on city streets are not often associated with the sublime, but in Constance Mallinson's paintings, debris is sensuously and intimately rendered at a disturbing scale. Mountainous accumulations with ominous backgrounds suggest trash dumps, ocean gyres, and clogged urban alleys and streets. At once critical and celebratory, viewers must wrestle with the conflicting effects of beauty, objection, and the environmental degradation wrought by abundance and disposal. Unlike the historical sublime images that justified ecological exploitation, Mallinson's massive array of 21st century waste reveals the dilemmas resulting from contemporary consumer culture. Marie Thibault merges traditional forms of abstraction and figuration to invoke nuanced emotional responses to landscapes impacted by superstorms, hurricanes, global tsunamis, and international trade. 
The organic and the industrial are intertwined as the natural colors and images of land and sea dynamically collide with representations of steel structures and the shipping industry she views in the landscapes near her home of San Pedro. Complex compositions incorporating patterns, stratifications, overlays, and heightened colors suggest states of immersion, acceleration, destabilization, and collapse, creating metaphors of insecurity. These artists challenge previously entrenched oppositions and confining categorizations. In the feminine sublime, diverse images, experiences, interpretations, and meanings are encouraged to collide and interact.